Heartbreaking, honestly. It's just so hard. Like, it's just big and scary, and it's, she's had to confront a lot of things that we avoid thinking about as adults. A mother's broken heart. Her daughter diagnosed with a life-threatening disease at age 13. Now her child is in need of a kidney donor, a living donor, and you may be able to help. Kelsey may look like your average 15-year-old, but her kidneys only operate at 11%. With a healthy kidney, you could make that more than 90%. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Amaya Kuznicki, in for Ann Emmerich. The Howell teenager recently had to begin homeschooling due to complications. News 10's Aaron Bowling shares Kelsey's journey to find a living donor. What it first felt like, a never-ending head cold, turned into a never-ending nightmare for the Minky family. Like, we, that was what was on our radar. We don't want to have to have sinus surgery. And little did we know what we would trade to just have had sinus surgery. More than two years and over 200 appointments later, Kelsey has undergone dialysis, several procedures, extreme life changes, and restrictions. With a very rare diagnosis of vasculitis, resulting in end-stage renal disease, they hope to find a living kidney donor by this summer. It's definitely frustrating, because I feel like, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't do anything to cause this. A weird, sad, angry combination where I, I feel like so much has changed um, and also like, why is this happening? If she finds a donor, she says she looks forward to the freedom of being able to make plans for the future, travel, and to eat certain foods again, like potatoes. Just every day thinking about like, is, is someone gonna be a match, you know? Are we going to figure this out? Is she going to be able to be a normal teenager? Is she going to be able to go to college? Like, it's just hard to think about, you know, losing her. I mean, that's, that's something that pops into our, my mind at least once a day. According to the Vasculitis Foundation, only one or two people per million are diagnosed, but most frequently after age 40. Aside from the permanent kidney failure, it's an isolating condition for anyone, but especially for a 15-year-old. It makes it really hard to connect with people my age and um, took a lot of my time. It's sad. It's hard to see and hard to navigate. So share your spare. <laughs> you only need one. Hoping to find her perfect match, to find a sense of normalcy for the end of her teenage years and beyond. In Howell, Aaron Bowling, News 10. Kelsey's doctors tell her waiting for a donor who has died may take too long, and it may not be as favorable an outcome as a living donor. If you'd like to get tested to see if you can help Kelsey, we are going to make it easy for you. Please get your phone out right now and scan the QR code on your screen. You can use your camera on your app. The QR code will take you right to the living donor form for Michigan Medicine Transplant Center. There, you will fill out a short series of questions. We'll also ask you the intended recipient name. Her name, again, is Kelsey Menke. We also have more information for you at WILX.com.